out here standing in front of y'all right now telling y'all what y'all doing wrong when you can get back right with the Heavenly Father before them skies crack. That's right. We're telling you now, this is great spirit time for you to get right with your people. That's right. We proud people, we have nothing. We don't have own our own communities. In your community right now, the Arabs, the East Indians, the white men, the Chinese men, running your neighborhoods. Right. We don't even run our own neighborhoods. Read. And they stood upon their feet. That's what's going to happen right now. You see us standing in now, young man? We're standing upon our feet. That's right, right in everybody's face. We're standing up strong and telling them the white man is the devil, but it ain't his fault with that we went to slavery. It's our fault that this happened. We broke our laws. If your child in your house system break your laws, what you gonna do? What you gonna do, brother? Punish it. Punish. What you gonna do? What you say? Punish. 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 What you think this is? You think this is? Tell a man with the uncle to neck that. Tell a man over there blowing them cigarettes, killing everybody with secondhand smoke that. Bring it out. This was a punishment put on us. That's right. This was a punishment because we broke our laws. Read. And they stood upon their feet. We stand there right now speaking to you, dust of the Lord. Go ahead. And oh, he said we stood upon our feet, right? Give me Isaiah 30, verse 20. Isaiah 30, uh, verse 20. I'm giving right back to God. Isaiah 30, plus tw uh, verse 20. Go ahead. The book of Isaiah, chapter 30, and verse 20. Read. And though, and though the Lord give you the bread of adversity. He put us in slavery. Although the Lord put us in slavery. Go ahead. And the water of affliction. So why we cried. We cried. We cried to the Lord. We cried we want to return to you, Lord. We've been afflicted here. We've been oppressed here. This ain't, ain't our land. This ain't our land. You got your sneakers on right now. You see what the, this is not our land. We were brought over here. We were brought over here from the West Coast of Africa, but we really came from the Northeast part of Africa, and we came down to West Africa in 70 AD when they chased us. It was called Negro Land, the West Coast of Africa, and they brought us here through the door of no return in Ghana. And Ghana had ships that got us and brought us over here. Go ahead. Yet shall not thy teachers. What? Shall yet not thy teachers. Why you think we stand here? Shall yet not your teachers be removed into corners anymore? Well, when this happened to us, we can't read or write. We couldn't be out here teaching back then. But now he put the spirit of life back in us. We can come out here and teach our people how to get right. <laughs> we can show our people the right way to walk. We can show our people the right way to live. How to them take care of their family. One man having a one wife, not being no whoremonger. One woman having one husband. Not being a, uh, adulterers out here. Not being fornicators out here. We can show you the right way to come back and walk in God's eyes. Read. But thine eyes shall see. Now that you seeing us right now. Your eyes, your eyes, your eyes, your eyes, your eyes, young man, shall see. Thy teachers. Who? who? Thy teachers. That's, we ain't not here to get taught. We are the teacher people. We know what the Bible say. Right. Y'all don't know what the Bible say. That's why we here to teach you how to get right with the Heavenly Father how to reconcile with the Heavenly Father because we went away from Him when we start celebrating Easter, Christmas, Thanksgiving, start breaking the Sabbath day. When we start doing all these things, we departed from the Lord. And the Lord departed from us. But now we gotta come back to the Lord but He can come back to us. Read. And thy ears shall hear a word. What? Shall hear a word. Even though that brother got his back turned, and thy ears shall hear a word. Behind thee. What? Behind thee. Bible said if you want to hear it or forbear it. That's so right. Get the hell with the Lord. That's on you. You got to meet your maker one day. We got right. to tell you the right way to walk and read. Say, this is the way. We telling y'all now, this is the way. This Bible is the way you got to walk. This Bible is the thing that's going to save you out of your oppression. This Bible is going to pull you from the bottom, sit you on top of kings and, right. and princesses in this earth. Read. Walk ye in it. Everything else failed on this earth. Christianity failed. Muslim failed. Egyptology failed. Everything else failed. This Bible is the only thing that's standing strong right now. Because right. it's our book from us, for us, and to us in these last days. Read. When ye turn to the right when hand. You turn to the right hand. And when ye turn to the left. Go ahead. Ye. Oh, go back. Go back. When you turn to the right and left the word, you're going to hear the word of God. You're going to hear this Bible come out in truth. That's not right. singing and dancing and clapping. Oh, Jesus, Jesus. Not playing no games, playing church. We ain't with that. We are here to tell you, dusty of the Lord, from scripture to scripture. Anything you ask us, we're going to go in this book and give you the answer. Right. That's right. Read. The book of Revelation, chapter 11 and verse 11. Read it. And after three days in the head, 
the spirit of life from God entered into them. They're coming back, even to your young man, it's coming back to the youth. Even though we older men, it's coming back to us right now. That's why we out here, because we love our people. That's right. We put our life on the line every time we come out here. Right. I try to I had to teach my people and talk to my people, because I love my people. Right. And love is an action word. Love is not just words you say. Love is an action word. You got to put yourself on the line That's for the right. truth, for the Christ, if you really believe in this Bible. Read. And they stood upon their feet. The Israelites are standing upon their feet. The valley of dry bones. We standing up upon our feet once again. Read. And great fear fell upon them which saw them. What fear fell upon them? And great fear fell upon them. These other nations getting scared right now because we waking up. Because God put his spirit back in us. Bro, we in slavery all the time, right? But why we came out of slavery and created everything to make this earth run? Right. Why the blacks and Hispanics came out and created everything to make this earth run? Right. And they supposed to be so smarter with people and greater with people. They ain't got the spirit of the Lord in them. We do. That's, That's why God holding us responsible and accountable for doing this work. Jump down to verse 8. Verse 8. Revelation chapter 11 and verse 8. Read. And their dead body. Who? And their dead body. I'm going to show y'all why we dead. Proverbs 21, 16. I'm going to show y'all why God said in their dead bodies. Because we spiritually dead right now. We spiritually went away from God right now. He said our dead bodies. Proverbs. 21 16. The book of Proverbs chapter 21 and verse 16. Read. The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding. The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding. The man that turns back on his Bible. Go ahead. Shall remain. No. They might remain. Shall remain. They shall remain. You, you hear me young man? They shall remain. You hear that OG? They shall remain. In the congregation of the dead. That's why people worship this. This is the biggest lie I've been told. Right. You can't find this nowhere in the Bible. Right. Why our people worship this thing? They always crossing their chest. They always looking at the white man like he's some damn god. This guy sees a boy's year. You can't find the description nowhere in the Bible. Right. Right. But why we believe this? Why we live in this? Why we celebrate this man as he the true image of Christ? Because we dead spiritually. But now the breath of life coming back in us, we know. Christ was a black man with white woolly hair. That's right. right. Who loved and died for his people, who give you for your sins. You understand? Right. He gave us life, but we can have life now in the last days. Read. Read it Proverbs. Read Proverbs again. Proverbs chapter 21 and verse 16. Read. The man that wandereth out of way of understanding. And we said the man, he talking about the man or the woman, the Israelites he talking to. Right. Shall remain. Shall remain. In the congregation of the dead. That's why we hate each other. That's why we killing each other. When you go to the ATM, sure. when you go to the ATM, you, you go sure. to the ATM, and you, That's I know true. none of y'all looking That's for a white true. man to rob you. That's I know true. none of y'all looking for a Chinese to come rob you. I know none of y'all looking for an East Indian to rob you. Our people are the ones that spiritually dead. We gotta watch out for our own people. That's right. Right. Everything we do, we gotta watch out for our own people. You walk in, you got your bag on your throat, you gotta look when you see a black man behind you, and you don't know what that nigga up to. Read. The man that wanders out of the way of understanding uh -huh. shall remain in the congregation of the dead. This book gives you moral laws to live by. We supposed to love each other like we love ourselves. But we ain't living by this. That's how they wander out of the way. That's why they spiritually dead. That movie, The Walking Dead, is talking about us. Right. The Israelites. They're talking about us walking around here dead. And why you gotta kill them? You gotta shoot them in the brain. Why? Why? Because that's where everything's stalking it in from. That brain. That brain is dead. You understand? But go back to Revelation 11 and 8. Revelation chapter 11 and verse 8. I want you to tell me, is this true or not? Right. And their dead bodies. And their dead bodies. The Israelite dead bodies. Why? Because we wander out the way of this Bible. Our dead bodies. Shall lie in the streets. We lying in the streets. Look at right now. Our people lying in the streets. We walking up and down the block. We really lying in the streets. Go ahead. Of the great city. America. 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 Go ahead. Which spiritually. What, what? Which spiritually. Uh-huh. Is called Sodom. Oh, it's spiritually called Sodom. Why is this place spiritually called Sodom? You know? You know, young man? I know you know. Why they call this place Sodom? Remember what happened to Sodom and Gomorrah? What happened? They fornicated, lusted, and what else? What major thing they were doing over there? 
One major thing they were doing in them cities. Huh? What, they was worshiping four stars. One more thing, you know? Yes. Help them out. Huh? Sleeping with men. Homosexuality! Lesbianism! Bring it up! That was going on! He said this place is spiritually Sodom! What happened when they say this place? Give me um Daniel 7 and uh, 25. What he said in this place, two men can get married. Two women can get married. Two men can have a child. They can adopt a child. Is that not confusion? Is that not confusion? Yes! Yes, it's confusion. Read that. The book of Daniel, chapter 7 and verse 25. Read! And he shall speak great words. What? The white man speak great words? Against the most high. Cause you lose your arm, they say we'll give you your arm. You lose your leg, they say we'll give you every uh, uh, every T leg. We give you one of them fake legs. Whatever you need, we can provide you with. <laughs> Whatever you need, we can replace it. Oh, your nose missing? We'll give you a nose. That's what they say. They speak great words against the most high, go ahead. And shall wear out the saints of the most high. How they wore out the saints of the most high. Remember the old song? Oh, when the saints come marching in. That's us, the Israelites. Oh, when the saints come marching in. They ain't talking about the Israelites. They wore us out. They wore us out. Today we're still mentally wore out. You look at your last name. All, oh, but you, most of y'all got uh, 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 the slave master last name. That's right. Johnson, William, Jones. Peterson, all oh, that's the slave master on that plantation last name. Right. That's not your righteous, your rightfully righteous name. You understand? That's the name they given us throughout the family and came in down. Cause they know you belong to the Johnson family. They know you belong to the William family. They know you belong to the Petersons back then. Read. And think to change times. They think they change what? Times. Cause they said 12 on one is what? Another day. But according to the Bible, the day start when the sun go down. When the sun go down, that's the beginning of another day according to the Bible. Give me that in Genesis 1 and 5, because y'all looking at me like y'all don't believe me. Genesis 1 and 5 tell you when the sun go down, that's the beginning of another day. Right. That's the knowledge we lacking when I first started. He said, our people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. We don't know these things, because we don't want to wait for our book. We went away from our book. Right. Read. The book of Genesis, chapter 1 and verse 5. Show them when the day start. And God called the light day. He called the light day. And the darkness he called night. And the darkness he called night. And the evening. And the what? And the evening. And the evening. And the morning. And the morning. Were the first day. He said in the evening. It start from when the sun go down to the sun go down the next day. That's 24 hours. That's one day. 12 days night, 12 days light. 12 days dark, 12 days light. I mean. 12 hours dark, 12 hours light. Right. You understand? It's simple, but we went away from this. That's why we forgot them things. Go back. Daniel 25. He said, they think the change times. Read that part. Think the change times. The book of Daniel, chapter 7, verse 25. And he shall speak great words against the Most High. Uh -huh. And shall wear out the saints of the Most High. Uh -huh. And think to change times. He said, leap year. Leap year. Put the hour back. Put it forward. Put it back forth. Back forth. Back forth. Who, why are you playing games? They think to change the time to throw y'all up, but y'all won't know what time. Remember, Mark 13, Matthew 24 says, we shall know the signs of the times. They try to change these things. They try to change it, but they can't. Because the moon and sun go up and down regularly. Moon and sun go around and go up and down. They can't change the moon and sun. You understand? When you see a full moon, that's the beginning of your month. You understand? They can't change that. That's how simple the most how I make it for us to understand, not for everybody. Read. And think to change times and laws. What the laws they change? What laws they change? Give me a law they gave to homosexuals. Two people could get married. Two men could get married. Two women could get married. They think they change that. It was not like right there from the beginning. God made Adam and Eve. He made Adam and Steve. Right. You understand? He ain't made Eve and, 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 and uh, Susan. Susan. He made man with man. He said man with woman and woman with man. Yeah. That's how he break. But we can reproduce and populate the earth. You put two men on the island, you put two women on the island, both of them are going to die and no, nobody else is going to inhabit it. You understand? That's how simple God said it. He said they think it changed times and laws. And laws. And they shall be given into his hand unto a time and, uh, and times. And the dividing of time. 350 years we've been here walking around dead. They said we came over here in 1619. It's been 400 years we've been here dead. Dead here in America. Go back to Revelation 11 and 8. Revelation chapter 11 and verse 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street. Because we don't know who we are. 
We don't know who he was. I ask y'all right now, who was we? Oh, uh, who was we before slavery? Who was we before this happened to us? Kings, queens. Yeah, kings, queens. Kings. There's no kings. Uh, queens in, in Israel. In Israel, there's no queens. You understand? Just kings. Just kings and princesses. Because Israel means a prince with the power of God. Prince and princesses we was in this earth. A prince with the power of God. You understand? That's what Israel means. My last name is Israel. My first name is Hananiah. That means God is gracious. He gave us these beautiful names. But over here where our names got changed. But we can hold up this. White supremacy. Or we can worship them. When you see a white person, you look at him as he, as he pure, as he God. You understand? When you look at your brother as he evil, as he the devil, it's mind games that been played on us, tricks that been played on us. But the Most High said everything gonna be revealed in these last days. Finish. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, uh -huh. which spiritually is called Sodom uh -huh. and Egypt. Why this place is spiritually called Egypt? Why? What the hell is Washington D.C.? The obelisk belonged to Egypt. Back of your dollar got what? <laughs> the all seeing eye, the pyramid. You understand? That's, that's right before our face. But we don't look at that. He says spiritually this place is called Egypt means bondage. Look up the word Egypt in Exodus 20 verse 2 means bondage. He said this place is spiritually Egypt. Cause why? We enslaved in our mind here in this place. Like we was enslaved when we was in Egypt for 100 years. Free. We're also, our Lord was crucified. How Christ was crucified here? Was Christ really crucified here? Was Christ crucified here? What, here in America? Here in America. Was Christ crucified? Yeah. No. Not your Christ. Exactly. No. Was Christ crucified? Well, he was. You know why? You know they are 1 and 10. Let me tell you how. Because they said, that's not Christ. Right. They said, this is Christ. Right. So they crucified him and tried to put this image up. This was Pope Alexander and the sixth son. He was a rapist, he had a baby by his sister, he had incest, he was a homosexual. This guy got all type of folly and wickedness in him, but they put him to be him. You understand? They tricked us and gave us him. They gave us him to be him. He's nowhere in the Bible. This is nowhere in the Bible. Right here in America, do they call y'all Israelites? Do they call y'all Israelites, why not? I'm gonna tell you why not, read that. The book of Hosea, chapter one and verse 10. Go ahead. Yet the number of the children of Israel uh -huh. shall be as the sand of the sea. The blacks and the Spanish and Native American Indians, we gonna be at the sand of the sea. Believe it or not, IORC, us, this church right here, this group right here, this school right here, we got people in Russia, Finland, Netherlands, uh, 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 Germany, France, Spain, Australia, South Korea, North Korea, we got people all over the world, right. believe it or not. We are a subject all over the world. He said, go ahead. Which cannot be measured. We can't be measured. Nor numbered. Nobody can number us. They try to take a census every year. They can't number us. We can't be measured, nor number. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, ye are not my people. In the place where they said you are not God people. They call you God people here? They call you God people here? He said in the place where they said, you are not his people. There it should be said unto them. In Jamaica, in Trinidad, in St. Uh, Martin, St. Thomas, uh, Guyana, all these places, Tobago, Grenada, uh, South America, Mexico, in the place where they said, we are not his people. There it should be said unto them. In that same place it's going to be told unto us. Ye are the sons of the living God. In the same right. place today we tell y'all, y'all are the Israelites. That's right. That's right. He said, damn, we told to you, you are the children of God. You are the children of God. Right. Is everybody the children of God? No. No. That's right. You believe that? Do you believe that? You believe that? Thank you. Do you believe it? Do you the believe it? Do you believe it? Body. Give me Isaiah. Give me Isaiah. Give me Isaiah 40 verse 15. We want to see what God said about these other nations and he will say about y'all. Read The book of Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 15. Read it up. Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket. He said all these other nations are a drop of a bucket. If you have a bucket and a little drop of water come out, do you matter about it? Do it matter? Do you care about that? No. No, you don't. If you walk in a mile and one drop will come out of that bucket, you don't care about that drop. He said the nations are as a drop of a bucket, good. And are counted as the
the small dust of the balance. You can put dust on the balance and it ain't gonna weigh up to nothing. That's how he said the other nations are compared to us. Read. Behold, he taketh up the isles as a very little thing. The isles are very small to him. And Lebanon is not sufficient to burn. He said you can burn all that land in Lebanon now. That ain't enough to sacrifice for him. Go ahead. Nor the beasts thereof sufficient for a burnt offering. Read. All nations. All nations. Before him. Before God. Are as nothing. Said, all nations before him are as nothing. Are as nothing. They gotta wake up right now. He said all nations are as nothing in God. This is the true living God. This is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The God we've been worshiping for years. Read. And they are counted to him less. Than nothing. He said all these nations are counted to him as less than nothing. And vanity. Y'all don't know the power that the Most High got. He loved y'all. Like you. I'm going to use you, y'all two, for example. Y'all got one outfit you like more than the other outfit in your closet, right? Do you got one outfit you like more than the rest of your outfits? More fair shoes, more than you like the rest of them? How about you, sis? You got one outfit. God got one people he loves more than everybody else he created in the earth. Well, you have one of your clothes in your closet, but you like this one outfit way more than the rest of them. That's how God, that's how God do us. He loved us more than he loved anybody else on this planet. So he ain't giving this Bible to everybody, he gave this Bible to us. Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.